Hey guys, I'm just doing a little bit of a review today. Uh, it's a pretty windy Sunday. I've got the 1970 uh, fully restored Kaiser Willys Jeep CJ5 Dauntless up. And you can see uh, we're on um, we're on the main uh, jack, which has gone up, and then the jack stand as well. So, so safety first, because um, I'm gonna, just gonna be getting underneath here. Um, so the plan today is to review uh, this product here called Lano Guard. Um, now, um, I've been looking for a, a product like this for so long, I can't tell you. The other products and the other systems that people use, um, they're either extremely expensive to send your car away, or um, they're black, um, which, which doesn't allow you to get underneath um, all your um, hard to reach sections which have got paint on them. So um, seals and uh, wheel arches. Um, also one of the great things about this product I've seen online is you can do exhaust. So I'm not really happy with my exhaust is rusting a bit. I don't really want to paint it because they, they always come out bad when you paint them. Um, so on my other Jeep, my 67, which is like a bit of a rust bucket, but it's only surface rust because it's from California. I've used this, which is wax oil, and this is the clear wax oil. Um, the clear wax oil, only problem I have with it is that my Jeep's covered in linseed oil to protect the patina on it, but the only problem with, with the wax oil is it's it's really sticky. It's it's like it's like lard effectively, because um, it goes on, it never comes off. Um, and I didn't really want that on this particular car because you can see it's been fully restored. I don't want to cover the underside of the car, especially these areas here, which I've steamed already. I don't really want to cover them with with a greasy, um, lard sort of style um, uh, rust protector or inhibitor. Um, so you can see under, cut to the chase, you can see underneath this here, the car is, a cat is this car was from Texas. So it was restored 1800 miles ago and you can see it's not perfect at all it's been it's been fully restored and repainted i'm not entirely certain that the paint job is great but there's a lot that needs to be done here i've steam cleaned a lot of this car so what i'll do is i'll do a, a kind of before and after um on how we get on with it and i'll also show you the other jeep um, and show you what this product has done to that jeep and then i'll obviously show you the difference between this stuff which i think is amazing from the reviews i've seen online um, and it's cheap it's not expensive and i i've heard that this stuff can do a whole a whole car and there's still stuff left i've got some bits to do on my winch with this as well so it'd be really good to see that um yeah so next video will be showing you the results okay, so. so i've started the process you can see i've got the uh, spray container you can change the amount of spray but you can see initial findings are pretty damn good one of the great things about this product is is the spray is so it's so wide that it just gets into every nook and cranny there is which is what you really want when you're protecting stuff whereas the the wax oil you have to use cans and cans of it or a big a big vat of the stuff whereas this it just gets into into everything it leaves it's a little bit like silicon like paint at the same time it leaves a lovely shiny sort of finish uh covers everything and it kind of if for those of you who've got cars like me where they're not perfect you know the the chassis and the body isn't concourse condition it looks like it brings it back to a a nice even if it's rusty a nice finish um i use too much and that's because i always do with everything i go over the top it's all nothing with me but for other people who are probably a lot a lot more organized with what they do they probably get a lot more out of this gear than i would but it's pretty good not not a good idea to spray it on a windy day like today like i've done but it looks pretty damn good stuff um and i'm hoping obviously to see what it looks like when it dries um but yeah so i mean you can see where i've got a little bit of paint there um cracking off so it's ideal just to just obviously seal it all 
Um, you can see I've got a little hole there. There's some, that's where obviously I believe the paint job in this car wasn't perfect, even though it's Texas based. I can tell obviously from the bodywork as well that uh, on the top side that it wasn't a great job. But um, best to seal it, I'm by the coast, so that's what I'm doing really today. good about the, the end nozzle here is that you can, uh, if you're looking at uh, if you're looking at long reaching areas where you can't really get onto um, the nozzle, you can change the settings on the nozzle, um, and you can make it a more fine spray or a longer reaching spray, which is ideal because there's so many areas in this car that you can't reach um, with the, with just the fine spray. Uh, which is pretty damn good. And again, it's great for these nooks and crannies on the car. I think that seal is pretty done. Uh, yeah. So quite incredibly, I've completed the entire car except for just the front, uh, just, the, just past the front wheels, which I'll need to probably jack up the front a little bit and have a look under there because you've got all the areas underneath. But quite incredibly, I've actually got almost more than, more, well, I'd say just around about half a canister left, which is incredible for me, because I'm not used to that. I'm used to going back to Halford six times in a day and restocking whatever it is I'm trying to do. So I'll just give you a little tour and show you what I've done so far. So everything you can see has been literally caked and stuff, which is great. It's got in every nook and cranny. The only thing I'd say about this product is, obviously it's amazing, but the, the clear differentiator in this product to everything else is the, uh, the nozzle. The nozzle is incredible for getting in every single bit. Luckily, I've got like a U-shaped um, chassis um, uh, so that I can, you don't have to feed it through. But even if you did with this nozzle, if you had to get through little holes like you would, this this stuff sprays so fine, you can have it spray so fine, you don't need those those applications where you're feeding it through like you do with the, the other rust inhibitor products. So if you look underneath, I mean everything, everything, it's in everything. One of the great things as well is, it's in all the springs, it's got into all the moving parts, which is fine to oil them. They're not, you know, one of the problems you've got with things like the handbrake, uh, levers and and all the other product all the all the other um all the other moving parts is they're never really oiled this stuff isn't oiled because it dries but it's it's quite nice knowing that it's dried without slipping or it's 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 going to dry and it's going to come up perfect um so i think it's uh i think it's a good it's a good product and you can see it's gone everywhere i mean i've done the exhaust i've done everything um so there's a few bits obviously that will probably stick out um, after I've completed the whole car. And of course you can go back because you've got plenty left over. Uh, when it dries, you can get in some of the places. You can see, if we look close there, you can see I've just missed, uh, I've just missed the back part of that uh, area there. And I'll just go back and go over that again. Uh, worth doing it on a sunny day as well, because obviously, you got a lot more light. Um, I'm around the back here of some big buildings, so you can see. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. And like I said, it's got it's got right into all those nooks and crannies. It's not it's not a it's not nasty product like the the other products I've used before as well. You know, I've got the gl the goggles on, which I would recommend using. But there's no there's no it doesn't because it seems to be an organic product. It doesn't, when you, when you smell it, it doesn't smell bad. It doesn't smell like the other product, which you, which you're like, I've got to wear a face mask with this stuff. It's, this stuff is toxic. This, this smells really nice. It's a little bit like putting the linseed oil on my other Jeep. It doesn't, it doesn't smell like that nasty petroleum sort of based, uh, unnatural chemical product. This smells really good. Um, so yeah, I think it's, uh, and, and obviously the finish is great. I mean, I don't need to paint my chassis. Why would I bother painting my chassis and, and having the underside done? The underside, you can see here, look, this was pretty bad, but I've got right in the crack there. I've no idea 
how this happened. Uh, you know, this has got 1,000 hectare miles since a respray, um, and it's a Texas car. This hasn't happened on the on the trip here. It hasn't happened, so obviously the car wasn't looked after enough, which is a pity. And it will need this car will need a new respray. It's not a great. This is not a great paint job that was done on this car. You can see I've got. It's not perfect whatsoever. That's fine. So yeah, on to the final phase, and then I'll make a video um, in a week or so's time, so you can see the outcome. But yeah, it's uh, it's looking very good, especially on the seals. Look, they're all shiny now. They're all. I don't have to go in there with polish or anything, and and keep them polished, and it goes right into the back of all these nooks and crannies and corners, which is what you want. And the exhaust as well. I mean, the exhaust looks much, much better now. It didn't look like this dry, this dry rusting away effect. And one of the things you find with classic cars is that you're forever getting new exhausts because they just rust away. Unlike the rest of the car, you protect the rest of the car and then there's nothing you can spray on the exhaust. Um, so again, this will probably give your exhaust uh, three or four to three or four times more life than um than just having it left bare because obviously no one wants to spray their exhaust because it's going to affect either the sound or it can even affect the performance if you haven't had it ceramic coated or some uh some paint finish on it so so the whole car has been completed now um you can see i've used some of it for areas of my winch which I keep having to clean up and polish, um, so that should protect it quite well. I've got a special winch grease on anyway from the cable. But underside is amazing. I mean, I literally have 25% left and it's caked in it. Now, I literally, uh, I overcook everything, unfortunately, but I wanted to make sure it was done properly and everything protected. So it's really good. I've got 25% left left over everything's everything's been done every nook and cranny and then probably i'll leave it for um i'll probably leave the car now for a good week and then have a look and see if i missed anything i mean you can see i've done all the seals they're really good it gets in all the the tight spots so everything now will get sealed and this will this will kind of dry on um i've got inside all the L-shaped, um, all the U-shaped, sorry, the U-shaped uh, uh, chassis. Um, and obviously the drivetrain, I mean, all the elements, like I've done the drive shaft, I've done everything, and I even noticed the parking brake works better. Everything seems to work, but even my jack works better. It seems to have lubricated my jack, and probably uh, my jack will probably last another 100 years. So, um, so yeah, it's pretty good stuff. I'm going to pull it out now and let it dry in the sun a little bit. We had a bit of rain, so, so I'll come good. back after um, after uh, two hours, had a bit of lunch, come back and you can see already that it's got this lovely, um, everything's kind of drying, lovely. You can see the shackles, they look, they look like they've been painted. And the problem you've got with all these, these parts like shackles and thing is, things is that you are, uh, with shackles and all these parts is you end up spraying them black and then you lose all the all the coloration and all the bolts and everything so it doesn't really look like a, a proper resto job you look like you just completely caked the car in black and all the chassis and everything's looking great the seals it's all uh it's all i mean it's not drying yet but it but it seems to be um getting there and looking really good so far so i'm really happy with that you can see the underside um there's some uh yeah it's looking really good um another thing i noticed as well is that everything appears to be uh everything it's right now everything appears to be uh there's no squeaking anymore i mean i know bearings and stuff you shouldn't be putting this stuff on them but i did look online and one of the good things about the product is it's great on moving parts like chains and and everything so if it's freeing up everything there's no squeaking anymore if, if you guys drive old cars like i do one of the things that annoys the hell out of me um underneath them is things that squeak or uh you can hear where rust has gone to things and you've got moving parts or springs or shocks that are not 
um, and they can they can kind of cause a lot of noise from movement. So I've noticed with this car, since turning the steering column and driving it back round again and, and circling with it, that nothing seems to be making any of that shackling noise or that rubbing anymore, which is great. Uh, so you probably get the same thing if you if you put the wax oil on as well, but it just seems a lot cleaner. Um, what I'll do is my final video, uh, when I come back and have a look in a week's time, is I'll pull the other Jeep out and I'll give you guys a comparison between uh, the wax oil, the clear wax oil and this stuff as well. Obviously once this is set, the wax oil has been on the other Jeep for I think now at least a couple of months. And then obviously this stuff looks like it dries a lot quicker. I mean wax oil just doesn't dry, it just stays on forever. So yeah, so yeah, so I'll, I'll do another video. Great thing also about this product, unlike other products I've used, which are kind of petroleum based and they're flammable, this is a completely natural product. So when I opened my garage and I walked in, it smelled like like it would be in uh, if you went into kind of a, like a a wood wood yard or something like that. The product smells it smells really good inside. The, the garage smells really nice. It doesn't smell like a you've got some petroleum based product that you know might be flammable or um, which other products they just they just didn't smell right when I put them on um, also so um, that's one of the great things as well is that when I turned the car around and brought it back in the garage um, you can smell obviously the products getting hot on things like exhaust parts and things but I I didn't worry about that when I when I put it away when the car was hot because I didn't have to worry it was going to catch fire because the, the product isn't flammable so that, that's 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 fantastic as well you know because the last thing you want is when you're putting on a when you're putting on some kind of protectant or and it's touching hot parts that are coming off of either you know it's nowhere near the heads i've not put it anywhere near the header sorry but it's but it's on the exhaust manifolds it's on some of the heated parts where you where you have overspray um, you don't have to worry about that. You don't have to worry about the car sitting in the garage and the engine's hot and, and you've got um, this product on. So, uh, as you can see, beautiful, beautiful English weather. So I'm done for the day. My other Jeep, which has the, um, the wax oil on and the difference between them both. So you can see on this Jeep, we've got, there's lots of linseed oil on here, so you can ignore that. But as you go underneath, so this car has been covered in wax oil but clear wax oil because i didn't want it black because obviously under the seals here um we've got paint and now i didn't want black to be on this paint because it won't keep it original but you can see the difference so this is if i if i put my finger across a little bit of the wax oil here you can see it, it's it's like a it's a gooey sort of a waxy kind of finish um and it i mean it's a really good protector if you want to protect your car well from the elements, just like Lanagard, it works. But the problem is, as you can see, I mean, it's got all up in here, up in the, it just comes out a bit like a lard, um, which is fine because it does a great job. But in terms of, you know, the way it goes on, isn't as fine as the Lanagard, but it, but it leaves this kind of waxy, waxy, uh, um, lardy kind of finish i mean if you use the black one i'm sure it's uh i'm sure it's just as just as good and you can see okay up here in the seals it does and in the back of the car it does a good job but you can see on the chassis as it dries um it kind of leaves this um this coloration here and on the front you can see as it's gone on you can see where Potentially it's a bit thick again, but it's, um, you know, it's not a perfect finish. I would have much preferred to use the Lano Guard on this. You know, not that I'm putting down the wax oil because there's probably thousands of people out there to tell me that no, wax oil is amazing stuff, which it is. But the finish, it's, you know, it's not the same. You know, it's not like a paint finish, you know? Um, so that's, uh, I've also put some here, you can see, I've sprayed some in here in the in the hard to reach grill parts of the car to keep some of the paint protected rather than uh, just um, just the chassis. So that's that's the difference between the Lano Guard and this, which is the 
the wax oil. Hey folks, so this is the final video uh, in the review of uh, Lano Guard. Um, so it's been seven days approximately since I started working on um, started working on the Jeep. So I'm going to give you the the final uh, preview of, of how it's come out. So um, jack the car up. Someone's been cleaning around here this morning with shampoo, so it's not ice. Um, so yeah, just look in the engine bay. Um, so as you can see, I sprayed down here and you can see quite in detail how the Lano Guard's gone all the way on the chassis and all the parts you can see there as well. It's got an amazing finish, saving me to actually having to paint um, everything as well. And you can see again on the other side of the engine bay here, it's got a fantastic finish, which is uh, obviously better than paint because it's protecting it constantly as well. And then if we go forward here, I've used it on certain areas near the winch around here where I didn't really want to paint it and inside the U-shape of the, the chassis. So underneath the car, and this is incredible, if we look at all the, the suspension areas, the axle, everything which I, which I sprayed, um, the leaf springs and the shackles are amazing because what I normally do with cars is I spray them with paint and I you have to unless you're really good at covering all this stuff um, you have to uh, you have to spray with everything and obviously once you get paint and everything it never comes off so you can you really if you wanted to repaint the chassis here you, all your suspension your, your shocks and everything have to be have to be covered so that's the underside of the front there which is great and then you can see all the way here all in the seals you know you don't have to um you don't have to change any of the colors you don't have to you know put any any uh protective coat on the car when you're painting because it's not paint and then if you look at the chassis look at that that's an amazing finish that's better than paint effectively and when you touch it obviously you can feel it's protected you can feel there's a layer on there that and then underneath here where i steamed you can see areas where it's all got into everything because of that nozzle and it wasn't perfect under this car at all but towards the back end here if anyone looked at this at a car show or anything they'd think that i had the chassis professionally painted so for me it does it does two things it protects your underbody covers all your leaf springs and all your chassis areas in this fine protective coat which is excellent and then also you get the, the great the great show kind of finish on everything which is amazing uh and then the other the other major benefit of of the product which i found is you always find with these products that you um you end up having nothing left over or you you have to go and restock so so if you can see in the light here you can probably see so i've got I've used, and I used loads of this stuff. I mean, I wait, use way too much. Um, I've got um, just almost close to, well, a quarter, a quarter left. You can see that. You can see there's there's a there's a quarter left in there. Um, so I've got some left over to play with. But if you were, if you were a guy that really knew your stuff with restoring cars, you could probably you could probably get two cars out of this, out of this whole, uh, this whole spray. So, yeah. So five stars on the on the review there. If I do another car, I'll definitely be using it again. Um, yeah. So that's the uh, that's the final, the final, uh, the final coat, which is great.